Hello students, welcome to the science online class. In this class, we are going to learn teeth and microbes. What about teeth? Do you know how important are these teeth for us? Can you tell me? After waking up early in the morning, what do we do? We brush our teeth. Can we take any food? If without teeth, how it would be? No? So, to chew the food, to crack the food and our digestive system also, it starts with our mouth and the main part in our mouth is these teeth and not only that, these teeth, they give a good appearance to your face also. It brings a great smile in your face also. So, teeth not only just for eating, but also it is a very good looking also helps. So, now if you observe your teeth, have you ever observed your teeth? How many types of teeth do you have? So, teeth are especially four kinds. They are incisors, canines, premolars and molars. These are the four types of teeth, but as baby born, baby does not have any teeth. After growing, after one or two years, baby gets new teeth and we call that as milk teeth. We call that as milk teeth and remember these milk teeth are temporary teeth. Do you know why do we call it as a temporary teeth? The reason is that this temporary teeth is a set of teeth. In this set, 20 teeth will be present and will get after growing 7 to 8 years old, these temporary teeth they fall out. As they fall out, new teeth or permanent teeth comes. And remember, as I said, temporary teeth how many? 20 and milk teeth dental formula is 2102, 2102. What is this 2 represents? Tell me, 2 represents that incisors, 2 incisors present in children and what is this 1 represents? canine, one canine present and what is this zero? So, in children the number of premolars are zero, premolars they do not present in children and what is this two? Two represents molars. So, totally we can divide our mouth in four parts. This is lower jaw and this is upper jaw. And again this lower jaw can be divided into two parts, right, left. And this upper jaw also can also be divided in two parts, right, left. Okay? So, this represents among all these four parts, these number represents one part. For example, two inc incisors, two incisors present and one canine, one canine present. 0, 0 premolars, 2, 2 molars, so totally on one side and if you multiply with the 4, 2 fourths are 8, 1 fourths are 4, 0 fourths are 0, 2 fourths are 8. Then what do we get value here? 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 8, 20. So, how many teeth in temporary teeth? They are 20. So, temporary teeth is a set of 20 teeth. As I said that there are four kinds of teeth, I repeat it again, what are they? Incisors and canines, premolars, molars. What is the use of incisors? Especially we use these incisors to cut food substances and that is why we call incisors as cutting teeth. What do we call it as? 
incisors we call it as cutting teeth because we used to cut food especially in squirrels rabbits these incisors are highly developed okay and next canines what are these canines how do we use these canines to tear the flesh yes for example if you take the wild animals like tiger lion wolf fox even if you take the snake also these canines are highly developed in these so why do we use this we use to tear the flesh and third one so remember uh, as i said that so canines we call it as tearing teeth how do we call it as tearing teeth and next the third one premolars so we use these premolars to crack the food especially for example if you take the nut it's so strong so to crack the nut we use these premolars to crack the food to chew the food and again we will swallow it so that's why these premolars they also call as cracking teeth and last type what are what is that molars so molars these are used to, to grind the food so when do you eat rice boiled rice what do we do we grind the food so whatever the food substance we take we have to grind properly in our mouth if we don't grind that food properly what happens it may damage your digestive system because as you are not eating or chewing that properly then the burden will be heavier on these digestive organs stomach small intestine large intestine they have to do some extra work instead of that if you chew that food properly if you grind properly then half of the digestion processes will be completed in our mouth itself so that's why whenever you eat food chew it properly okay remember so we call these molars as grinding teeth grinding teeth as we are discussing the main lesson about teeth what is the study of teeth is called odontology what is that odontology so that the study of teeth the structure of the teeth and the developments are the cavities whatever the complete study of teeth is called as odontology and next as we have seen here especially what are the types of teeth milk teeth temporary teeth and then after the another set of teeth as i said after these temporary teeth they fall out the new permanent teeth comes out at the age of 9 10 years old and in this permanent teeth how many teeth present what is the dental formula of permanent teeth the dental formula of permanent teeth is 2 1 2 3 so this two represents incisors this one represents canine and this two represents premolars and this three represents molars now as i said that this 2 1 2 3 this is only the one part in our structure in upper jaw or lower jaw whatever you take so if we multiply with the four you will get two fours are eight one fourths are four two fourths are eight three fourths are twelve so now 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 8 20 20 plus 12 32 so how many teeth present in permanent teeth there are 
32 teeth are present. So, this is incisors totally 4, canines total 4, premolars total 4, molars sorry incisors total 8, canines total 4, premolars total 8, molars total 12. So, completely 32 teeth present in permanent teeth. As we have seen this one and next do you know which animal has most of teeth? Snail. Snail has most of teeth around 14,000 teeth. What is the number? It is around 14,000 teeth it has and as we are discussing about the teeth, do you know about wisdom teeth? Generally, at the age of around 23 to 25, these wisdom teeth comes. As this is an age of wisdom, so that's why we call those teeth as wisdom teeth. So they come at the age of around 23 to 25. And after this, let's see here the structure of the tooth. Till now, we have seen the types of teeth. Let's see a particular tooth here. So, this is the structure, this is the upper part enamel, this is crone, crone means the part which can be visible to us, the upper part of the tooth and if you see this is root, we cannot see the root part of the tooth because this is present inside the gums, we cannot see that. So, this is crone which can be seen, root which cannot be seen, enamel. Enamel is the hardest substance in our body. You may think that bones are hardest, but not. Enamel is the hardest substance in our body. And next, dentin. Below the enamel, dentin presents. And this pulp, this is the pulp. And this pulp helps us and these nerves helps us to transport blood nutrients to the tooth. Okay. And at the same time, as we have seen the structure of the tooth, we have to take proper care of our teeth. If we do not take proper care of our teeth, what happens? We have to face some diseases regarding this tooth. What are they? For example, periodontal disease. Actually, this has not been given in your textbook. I will tell you some diseases names. Periodontal disease, it is also called as pyaria. And the second one is gingivitis. And third one is cavities are tooth decay. And fourth one is fluorosis. And the first one, as I said, periodontal, it is a serious infection of our gums. Okay. And the second one, as I said, gingivitis, this is a common problem that we face regularly. If we do not take proper care of oral hygiene, then we may face this problem, gingivitis. And next, uh, cavities are tooth decay. How it happens? When we eat food, a bits of food when it stuck between the teeth, it produces bacteria. And that bacteria, it forms a layer on our teeth. We call it as a plaque. What do we call it as? Plaque. A layer which forms on the teeth. And that bacteria, it starts to produce cavities, it damages the tooth. So, this is tooth decay or cavities. And the fourth one is fluorosis. What is this fluorosis? We usually drink water. Yes, we take water 6 to 7 glasses or 8 glasses. If fluorine percent is much more in the glass of water, in the water, then what happens? We may have, we may have to face this problem, fluorosis problem. Okay? So, fluorine should be in limited quantity in our drinking water. So, with that we can prevent this disease. So, now as we have seen that four important diseases that regarding tooth and now let us see care of the teeth. How do we take care of teeth? Let us see some precautions. The first one is we have to brush our teeth twice a day early in the morning and before you go to bed and after taking meal every time rinse your mouth take water, just rinse your mouth okay? and then after use floss. What is this floss? 
floss it is a tool which is used to clean your teeth where your brush cannot reach that point. So, brush cannot reach the every point between the teeth. So, in such cases we use floss to clean our teeth ok and then after avoid eating too many sweets especially sugary substances do not take that ok and visit dentist regularly. So, with all these precautions we can take good care of our teeth and as I said that food it produces bacteria and that bacteria damages our tooth. In the same way there are several types of microbes present in our surroundings everywhere may be at present in my hands on the board on this chalk piece everywhere on your bench or here everywhere these microbes are present and these microbes are especially four kinds what are they the first one is bacteria bacteria the study of bacteria is called bacteriology what is it it is called bacteriology and they are very very tiny creatures we cannot see with naked eyes we can see through only microscope. So, with the microscopes we can see this bacteria and these bacteria also they are in different shapes some are in rod shape, some are in cone shape, yes, some are in twisted. So, in this way they are in different shapes also present bacteria and especially because of due to these bacteria the diseases that causes are typhoid, tuberculosis and pneumonia. I repeat it again typhoid, tuberculosis, pneumonia. So, these are the three diseases that causes by the bacteria and let us see viruses. Viruses are these are very very small creatures than bacteria and the study of virus is called virology. What is it? Virology. The study of viruses is called virology. The person who studies about viruses is called virologist and these viruses they are very dangerous. We can control most of the diseases that caused by the bacteria with antibiotics. We use antibiotics to prevent these bacteria caused diseases. The first antibiotic was invented by Alexander Fleming and its name is penicillin. What is it? Penicillin the first antibiotic it was invented by the who? Alexander Fleming and we use these antibiotics to prevent these bacteria caused diseases and remember these anti antibiotics works only on bacteria caused diseases not on virus caused diseases ok. And now as we have seen viruses let us see some diseases that are caused by these viruses in that flu, polio, chicken pox, common cold, missiles and nowadays what we are facing the COVID-19 this is also virus coronavirus. So, as I said these are dangerous diseases. So, we use vaccination to prevent these diseases. At present our world also eagerly it is trying to discover the vaccine for the corona ok. Let us hope for the best and next third one the third microbe that is protozoa. These are a little bit bigger when you compare with the bacteria a little bit size in bigger and the study of protozoans is called protozoology. What it is? Protozoology. The study of protozoans is called protozoology and let us see some diseases that are caused by these protozoans. They are malaria and dysentery. What is this dysentery? It is an infection in intestines. And next let us see the last one fungi and the study of fungi is called mycology. What it is? The study of fungi is called mycology and let us see some diseases here they are ringworm and athlete's food. Ringworm, athlete's foods these are caused by this fungi microbes. 
till now we have seen that in which point of view microbes are dangerous to us, but there are some microbes which are helpful to us. For example, yeast, we use yeast in the preparation of bed, bread, in bakery items also we use this yeast, this is also microbe and not only that lactobacillus bacteria it converts milk into curd, what is that bacteria name? Lacto bacillus. This is the bacteria it converts milk into curd. So, this is also very very helpful. So, in this way microbes they are not all dangerous to us some microbes are helpful to us also. So, now not only this if you take the soil for example, dead plants dead animals in that place microbes they break down these dead plants and dead animals and they replenish the nutrients that are present in the in this dead plants and animals. For example, nitrogen cycle, oxygen cycle, carbon dioxide we can observe in these. They replenish the nutrients which are present in the dead organisms by breaking down into simple substances. What it does? These are done by microbes. As we have seen some important points all in this lesson, the first one we have seen teeth and then after temporary teeth it is also called as milk teeth it is a set of 20 teeth and after these milk teeth fall out new teeth permanent teeth comes it is a set of 32 and the dental formula of milk teeth is 2102 and dental formula of permanent teeth is 2123 okay and then after we have seen types of teeth incisors canines premolars molars and we have seen some dental diseases also gingivitis, fluorosis, periodontalysis and then after we have seen cavities tooth decay also and we have seen how to take care of our teeth. For example, rinse your mouth, brush your teeth properly twice a day, visit dentist regularly and use floss to clean our teeth. So, these are some precautions that we have to take and then after we have seen some microbes and kinds of microbes bacteria, virus, protozoa and then after fungi the study of bacteria is called bacteriology, the study of virus is called virology, the study of protozoans is called protozoology, the study of fungi is called mycology yes? and then after we have seen the uses of the microbes and diseases that caused by the microbes. And now in your textbook, please come to the page number 22, uh, here we have a small work. Let us see the correct options, multiple choices. The first one, how many teeth are there in a set of temporary teeth? How many? There are 20. So, option C is correct. Next second one, how many incisors are there in each jaw? How many incisors are there? Four. So, in a permanent teeth there are how many? 4 incisors are present in each jaw. If you take the upper jaw 4, if you take the lower jaw also 4, 4 plus 4 8, totally 8, but in one jaw 4 incisors are present. Which teeth are also called as tearing teeth? What are they? Canines are called as tearing teeth. Then after the portion of a tooth inside jaw bone is called, as I said that the portion which cannot be seen that is root, this is root, the portion which can see of the tooth that is crone. Let us see the next one that is which one is important for healthy teeth and gums, what are they? Calcium and vitamin C. So, take calcium and vitamin C citrus fruits regularly with that we can prevent all these dental diseases and at the same time we can have a, we can take a good care of our teeth. And next the sixth one disease causing microbes are called what do we call these? We call these as germs. Disease causing microbes are called as germs. Next true or false? Teeth are hard bony structures, yes teeth are very strong and especially on teeth enamel it is a layer, this is the hardest substance in our body. So, but 
when bacteria produces on our teeth, bacteria first damages enamel. So, with that this tooth decay or cavities forms. Next second one, our tongue does not touch the teeth while pronouncing certain words, it is false. To pronounce certain words, we use, we touch this tongue to our teeth. So, even to pronounce the words also we use our teeth. Next, on either side of incisors, they are pointed teeth called canines. Yes, even if you observe in the upper jaw or lower jaw, on either side of the incisors, two two canines are present. Fourth, molars are also called cracking teeth. Molars, no. Molars are called as grinding teeth, they are not cra cracking teeth. Premolars are called as cracking teeth. So, that is false. Now, look at the fifth one. The outer covering of each tooth is called the enamel. Yes, this is the outer covering and we call it as a enamel. That is true. Next, blanks. First one, there are usually dash permanent teeth. How many? 32. Second, dash or broad teeth next to the canines. Next to the canine. Beside canines, what are present? Premolars are present. Next, Teeth are fixed in the dash below your gum, jawbone in this. Fourth, brush your teeth dash a day. How many times? Twice. Fifth, dash is an antibiotic made from a mold. Penicillin, it is the first antibiotic, it is made from a mold. And who discovered this? Alexander Fleming. So, with this, we have finished our lesson. So, I will see you again with another interesting lesson in our next session. Till then, bye. Thank you.